Krampus is directed by Michael Daughtry and stars Adam Scott, Tony Collette, David Kusher, Allison Tomal, and Conchita Farrell, and a few kids whose names I do not know, and some really old woman. This is a horror comedy that's from the director of Trick or Treat, a movie that I haven't seen in quite some time. I haven't seen that in a very long time. And I was looking forward to this movie. I really like the marketing. I'm a fan of the cast, and I like the premise. I love horror comedies. We had one earlier this year called The Visit, and that was a lot of fun. That was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. This one is also a very fun film. Is it a great film? No, but it's so entertaining. And when it's terrifying, it's really terrifying. Believe me, I got goosebumps during some scenes. Not too many, though, but I'll explain why in just a minute. I loved all the performances. Even the kids did very good. Adam Scott did good. Tony Collette did good. David Kosher, Champ from Anchorman, did very good. Uh, Conchair Farrell, who was Berta from True and Half Men, she was she was hilarious. And Allison Tomal for Fargo, she was okay. She was my least favorite performance. Out of all the adults, she was my least favorite performance, and I'll explain why just a bit. I love the practical effects. That was my favorite aspect of this entire film. There's so much practicality in this movie. The way Krampus looks is so practical. There's this jack-in-the-box that's very practical. The only CGI is really the, C the gingerbread men, and they looked really good too. So, I mean, for a $15 million film, the CGI in this film looked better than some of the CGI we have in certain films today that cost like $80 million. I'm talking to you, Fantastic Four. The comedy was very strong. There were a lot of funny moments in this movie. The opening sequence was a perfect reputation of Black Friday or shopping shortly before Christmas. Also, when the movie got heartfelt, I really liked it. I just, I was into it. And I know some people have been complaining about that, but I liked that aspect of the film. And the way Krampus looked, I'm just telling you that he looked really terrifying, and that was brilliant on everyone's part, whoever created, and Michael Daltrey's part too. Now my problems with the movie. The movie gets very repetitive because they keep going in outside, then back inside, then outside, then inside, then outside, then inside. It kind of gets very repetitive at times. There are some jokes that I didn't find very funny. I thought Alison Tomal's character was just not that strong. And also, none of the characters are really likable. They really, they're all assholes in a way. I mean, the performances are very good. But the characters, they're really not likable. Adam Scott is probably the one you want to root for the most. Because he's, like, very friendly. Tony Collette's like, well, I don't know. I mean, and David Crochet is a big bully like he is in every single movie. But he's lovable. Conchetta Farrell is kind of like the old aunt who's like, listen, kids, I just want my eggnog. Get the fuck out of here. And Allison Tomal's just like, it's Christmas. Nothing bad's going to happen on Christmas. Bitch, you saying that jinxed everything. And also, the use of Krampus was so little. It felt like. Gogeta, where Godzilla was only in the movie for like 15 minutes total. And yet the movie was called Godzilla. I I don't I didn't expect Godzilla to be in the entire film, and I didn't expect Krampus to be in every single scene of the film, but Krampus could have been used so much more. And also, people are going to ask me what I think of the ending. At first, when I was in the theater with my friends watching it, I didn't know how I felt. I was very mixed. But over time, I like it because it makes you think. I like the ending now because it gives you an idea of what could have happened. Could this be happening or could that be happening? I'm not going to say what it is, of course, but yeah, overall, I had a really fun time with Krampus. I think The Visit is the better film, but I think this might be the funnier one. This movie gets a B. Guys, tell me down below what you thought of Krampus if you've seen it. What are your favorite horror comedies? And I'm glad that this one was Christmas, too, so that was that's awesome. A horror Christmas comedy. We need more horror holiday comedies that aren't just Halloween. Let's get a horror Easter comedy. Or a horror Mother's Day one. Eh? 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 Hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.